Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 25th going to the 1st of May. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you guys. Personal readings are linked down below by the way and they are open. They will only ever be sold on my website. Do not listen to comments that are telling you about WhatsApp and stuff. That's not me, okay? Uh, there's a lot of impersonators going around at the moment. But... Um, with that being said, Gemini, let's have a little look and see what's going on for you uh, for the week ahead. And excuse, I've just done a workout and I'm dying. <laughs> let's see. The Gemini. Nice. Let's see, Blue Spirit. Okay, perfect. This is a good week. You can feel something coming and it's true. I feel like something really amazing is on the horizon for you. Um, I feel like this is definitely your time. We have abundance coming through, which is exactly what your reading is talking about. Um, what was I going to say? There is almost like, I feel like this is a really good time to stay in your own energy, to kind of stay in your own lane, as they say, purely because there is something that you're either working on that is going to pay off. Or you're going to start to see, I'm seeing one, one, one. So yeah, you're manifesting something big and, and you will get results from this. If this is just a big idea that's coming to life here, or you're just acknowledging an idea that is going to take you further in the uh, future. I'm getting a sense here of in your external surroundings, you might feel the need to pull away from certain people based off of your intuition is what the deep knowing is all about here. Um, and you will start to see why you felt this way, uh, why you pulled away from something, okay? It's really important. Uh, it's kind of like you dodged a bullet energy coming through, whether that's in the workplace, uh, just any, it could be small scale, big scale uh, situations. It is a general reading, but for a lot of you, I just get the sense that you've dodged a bullet here, okay? Dodged a bullet, there we go. <laughs> if Zeta can speak today, let's pull you out one of these oracle cards and then we'll talk about it, okay? For Gemini, please, thank you. We have change, which is good. I feel like this is really good change. Again, we have this card coming through and I think it's important that I pick up on this. Not only is it on the bottom of the deck, uh, but it's kind of similar to what I've just been saying about you pulling away from people. It may be quite lonely. And with this, we have a nice little affirmation here saying, I know that I am never alone. There's always spirit. There's always people that we can reach out to, whether it be online, counselor if that's really how it is or trusted friends and stuff but listen to your gut instincts when it's time to pull away from people even if it is just temporary because right now i think that is about you and your forward movement here with the knight of pentacles uh, and this is where this change is then invoking more change which is great and this is what this card is talking about shaking <laughs> uh, i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and in order to, to have change, we need to make a change. And this is really what your reading is about. And this is about focusing on your own energy, listening a little bit more to your gut instinct and your first card out in a tarot deck is the Page of Cups. So something very surprising is going to be uh, on a on its way to you. This could be a message. This could be someone expressing their feelings and emotions to you as well within this week. Um, but I'm going to deep go deeper into that after we explain these cards for you, Gemini. So the first oracle card that you have coming out in your reading is a deep knowing card. And this is about uh, feeling the need to take action in something. And I'm seeing a lot of repeated numbers. I'm pointing at it. You guys can't see it, but it was free, free, free on the clock there. Um, deep knowing. I like to always talk about how the moon is here. And this kind of gives me Mars energy because of the red in it. Um, the moon speaks of your intuition and this is what this card is about, especially with the owl. So your intuition really is um, kicking in within this week. You're really uh, connected to spirit and to your higher self, which is great. But as much as that is great, this is a week of where it's about taking action on your intuition and really listening to the changes that are asking for you to make, whether that's pulling away again from certain things that aren't serving you or certain people that aren't serving you anymore to focus on other things. Because this Mars energy is all about action taking and determination. It's kind of emperor energy coming through here as well, which is great. So this is awesome for those of you who want to start your own business or have an idea that you want to bring to life. Uh, and it'll build a legacy for yourself because this has a lot to do with your future here. We have the yang energy coming through, which is all about this creative streak that's coming in, this ambition, this determination, all that fiery energy, uh, which is amazing. And you're creating at this time because this kind of feels like it's through your hands. Some of you could be working with your hand literally, uh, or again, you're kind of manifesting something to come to life here as well. So really, really nice stuff. Again, another card about action taking. The difference between the yin and the yen in this um, tarot deck is the yen is that 
forward movement. The yin is more about attracting, not chasing. But within this week, you are chasing your dreams, chasing things that serve you, chasing things that your intuition is telling you to chase. Um, and this is going to be very rewarding for you because you then have the blessed card coming through as well with the number two, two here, which is great. Uh, it goes to a four, which for me is all about the foundations that you're building, your home life, you know, kind of the comfort area. But I'm kind of feeling like you're building a safe space for yourself, which is interesting. You could be doing like um, things in the home. All right. Um, but this feels nice. Again, the blessed card comes through when we will be feeling blessed. Um, but I always sense whenever this card comes through that we have made a certain choice or have done something, or whether it's, it, it is about taking yourself out of a situation or at least from the chaos of life from time to time um, and kind of sitting in your own energy. And with this, you're going to realize that you needed this time out or you needed this time to yourself to, again, maybe it's to come up with more creative ideas of how to pursue something that you have an idea about or there's something about being in this time. Not only are you going to be bringing about gratitude and change within yourself, but it's also going to help you get the ideas of bringing about change in your external surroundings too. So a lot of inspiring, um, I feel like this, yeah, you're going to feel very inspired around this time, which is great. And I do see an opportunity coming up your way that you're not going to expect. For some of you as well, this is a little bit of disappointing news though from somebody that you will be receiving that you're going to realize, okay, well, it was good that I pulled away from this when I did because of this. Uh, just because we do have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck too. So um, when a card comes out, I always look at the bottom of the deck to see kind of the energy of this card because as much as it is about an offer with the Five of Cups here, maybe it feels like it feels like it's an offer that you may have not won or from the person that you don't really want it from. At least intuitively, that's what I'm picking up. Let's clarify for the rest of you what else this page of cups could be about. The three of wands, interesting. We then have the high priestess. This is really about listening to your intuition. Uh, of course, the cup energy is all about your emotions and I feel like it's telling you something around this time. Uh, with the three of wands, it's something that you're anticipating. It's something that is coming your way because of the energy that you've put out. So one thing I'm going to say, any inner work or even outer work that you've been doing here, Gemini, it really is going to be paying off for you because you can tell something interesting is on the horizon for you. Uh, you can feel it. You're getting ready for it. Some of you guys are really manifesting something big here. Some of you might know what this is but i think that as much as you are achieving a manifestation i think there's something that you didn't quite see coming that is also a part of this and it does feel quite good this is about change transformation especially with the eight of cups it is about walking away from maybe something that seems stable um to kind of create your own legacy here so for a lot of you there are some big changes coming up for you uh, it could be physical movement again but it has a big impact on your future in a very positive way because you're trusting your gut with this Okay, some of you could end up being in a relationship that's coming in. You might feel it uh, with an earth sign that is Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo or someone who carries those traits of being very... Um, I want to I wanna kind of say they are very focused about the physical world, but they, it doesn't mean that they're not spiritual. I just feel like this person is a very solid plan about how they want their life to go and is very stable, which is awesome. There's a pentacle element coming through of the person that you are attracting. Um, very humble though. I like it. And very wealthy, whether that's to do with money or whether it's to do with spiritual wealth or, you know, um, it could be anything. But this is something that your intuition is picking up on. And this deep knowing card really does speak of this. There is a new beginning that is coming up and you can feel the change happening for you. Uh, it's just a, a question of when. Um, but this is good. I feel like this is really good. Um, this might mean for some of you, though, that if you have been rejected by something or um, that you have kind of, I, I'm getting a sense of rejection or something didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. It's actually a good thing because there is another change that's coming. And this is where I get that energy of there's something that you're trying to manifest and there's something else that's kind of hidden from you, but it, it is coming regardless. And it's very, very good. So if you get rejected from someone or something, it's a blessing in disguise. You did dodge a bullet only because there's something better for you, something more aligned to you, and you're going to feel very blessed about this because there is good news coming, uh, and you can feel that, okay? So don't be too disappointed of what doesn't work out because it really is, your spirit is going to show to you that something even better is here and something that actually is aligned to you. Anything else for Gemini for this week? Wow, look at this. 
We have justice and the ace of pentacles. For some of you, if you're dealing with legal situations, because we have kind of double Libra and energy coming through here, then this is a really positive sign that things are going to work out in your favor and that there is very stable contracts around you at this time, which is awesome. Uh, if those of you are kind of dealing with disputes at this time, Gemini, then the ace of pentacles means that you are getting a financial uh, reward in some way or either way, it's a stable outcome here as well, okay? It is in your favor. The justice is in the upright, which is great. Some of you, this could be a new work contract or it could be anything that, again, is going to work towards this legacy of yours. Pentacles are very uh, long term uh, as a reader here. So this is really awesome. Any contracts you're signing, make sure you read it all. But this actually looks very positive for you. And again, it is just one seed. Your future looks really bright, Gemini, because of just this alone. And as I'm saying this, we have financial freedom. Awesome, spending more time out with in nature. Um, Spirit is saying here as well, like really take some time to actually envision the future that you want because not only is it good for manifesting, uh, I actually think it's gonna give you that inspiration and that motivation to move forward, which is awesome. Because again, this week is all about that determination and action taking, okay? Anything else for Gemini? Justice. I kind of want to pick up on this. I think this is a good time to speak the truth and to place any boundaries that you need to place, Gemini, if you haven't already, because some of you will have done this, because I think you're really focused right now on being stable uh, in all aspects of your life, in your heart space, in your mind, in your soul, in your finances, in your home. I just think that your, your brain right now is really ticking to do with your future and just being happy overall, you know, and doing the things that it takes to get there. I want to clarify this high priestess. Because there is something that's hidden from you that's coming to light. We have the full card and a ten of swords. So, yeah, you can feel that there is an ending coming through here. Uh, it is going to happen very abruptly. I am getting tower card kind of energy coming through with this for some reason. So, um, it could be to do with the home space. It could be a separation for some of you. Or again, it could be some kind of ending so that some new beginnings can come through. Some of you might be walking away. Some of you, again... There's a lot of things coming through here, but Ten of Swords just says something is kind of exhausting, something has uh, fulfilled what it needed to fulfill, but now it's kind of, it's done. I think you can accept this within your intuition. I feel like it feels done now. And uh, with the full card, you are ready to take a leap of faith and Spirit is urging you to trust and to follow it. Again, we have a lot to do with your intuition and Spirit really guiding you. So you are really protected at this time, by the way, guys, because as much as the Ten of Swords can be painful, um, you maybe have seen the signs that this is going to be happening. Again, something is showing you. The full card is an exciting leap and it can be scary because it's all about the unknown. Because for a lot of you, as much as you can feel it coming through, there is still a little bit of an element of uncertainty and should I be doing this? But Spirit's just saying there's some things that you can't see. And as much as you have grown these wings and you have achieved a lot with whatever it is you've been doing, um, and you've grown a lot as a person, there is still some things that we need to be... Um, that we need to heal from or that we need to focus on and this is why we said in the beginning that it's a really good week to focus on you your future where life is heading for you and if that means not going out as much you can save or you can spend some time alone then this is a really positive um affirmation for you and confirmation that this is a good sign because i think there's something that spirit wants you to see and it's asking for no distractions but you're going to listen to your gut this week for that um, but yeah, as I was saying, as much as you kind of can feel something co is coming in, it is still very hidden from you and it is still a bit scary if it's a big move of some kind or a really big um, decision to make. But the justice says, I think the decision has kind of already been made, at least in the spirit world, for you. Just about trusting that. Anything else though? The full card, let's clarify that. Look at where you're heading. It is going to be fulfilled. I feel like a wish is granted, Gemini. Awesome, though, because we haven't got those, you know, we haven't got the star card or nine of cups, but we have a ten of pentacles in abundance, and we had that card in the beginning. So this new thing that you're about to be doing and it's about to fall into your lap, I say, there is hard work behind it. But I feel like this opportunity is fated for you. And you can feel it. That's why your gut instinct is calling you towards it. You've asked for it. It's manifesting. It's already kind of there for you. It's just a matter of getting this news. Ten of Pentacles. It is going to pay off. There is a very wealthy future ahead of you. Um, 
and that you're about to step into is abundance. And that's not just in money, because I do see that being a factor, but in terms of your family, your home, some of you within before the end of this year could end up having been building your own family, you know, stuff like this. So I really see very positive moves coming through and your life is changing. Gemini, for the better. It's just about placing the right boundaries and protecting what is divinely yours, okay? Not allowing other people's opinions to get in the way, okay? Um, I'm going to pull you out some love cards. That is so many, but let's go. I wasn't going to do it, but hey-ho. We have photograph here, which is someone who is missing you. Uh, we then have wedding rings with the clock here. So this is possibly someone who does want something uh, more with you. This is, if it's not about marriage and you don't want to get married, then this is really about um, a promise, a commitment of some kind and a very serious one. But someone does need time uh, to maybe come forward to you, to confess their emotions, to confess their feelings. Um, whether you want this or not is really up to you, by the way, but only because we do have Grim Reaper and we have addiction. This is two ways this is going to go about. You don't need to accept this love offer because it is someone you have history with or someone that you know already. If you want something new, you have free will, Gemini. You're completely capable of choosing that. It's just a matter of turning down anyone who doesn't serve you and being open to who does um, and exploring that. For some of you, this is someone that you did have codependent issues with, whether it was them or you. Uh, that side of the relationship is over and this is fully able to evolve with time, okay? Uh, maybe there is a need for some space. Maybe there is a need or maybe there is distance already between the two of you. Uh, this codependency needs to kind of be removed in order for this to blossom. Uh, for some of you already, you're kind of realizing that maybe it's hard to not be codependent or... Uh, maybe this person does have possessive issues, in which case it's about understanding that that's a boundary that needs to be placed and you don't really want this person in your life because this is not something that can grow the way that, in a healthy way uh, and this does say no second chances. So some of you are choosing to not, okay? Um, but I get a 50-50 for, for this. So Gemini, take it how it resonates. Again, personal readings are open again. So check that out down below. Um, but I'll see you guys next week.